China, Jamaica, Barbados, France, United States, Kenya, St. Kitts and Nevis. Now, can they go this time? They do go this time. And for Jamaica, Nicole Ashmead blazing down that back straight. United States have gone out well also with Maurice Mitchell. He's now handing over to Curtis Mitchell. Let's see how good the Jamaican handover is. And it looks a decent one. United States and Jamaica into the straight and on the outside also going well. St. Kitts and Nevis. They come down now with Lestron Rowland handing on to Bree Jess Lawrence for St. Kitts and Nevis. But Jamaica and United States have the lead. St. Kitts and Nevis are up with them as they go around the back straight. Oh, there's an awful mess. And I think it's the Americans who've made a complete hash of it. And St. Kitts and Nevis still going really well down that back straight with Jamaica. This time with Jermaine Brown, who will be handing on to Johan Blake. And the two islands of the Caribbean are battling it out. St. Kitts and Nevis on the outside. And then comes Johan Blake. And Blake now, blistering bend into the straight, accelerating away in the absence of Usain Bolt. This is the class act. He comes up towards the line. Is the world record going to go? He stretches for it across the line. And it is a new world record by five one hundredths of a second Johan Blake has carried Jamaica to a, another brilliant world beating performance stunning his anchor leg was absolutely electric so Kitts and Nevis had run a great three first legs and then on the anchor Johan Blake was simply a different class and there's confirmation new world record well you can take your pen out and you can put a big line through the names of marsh burrell Hurd, and lewis now in sprinting terms they are four legends of the sport and you can replace it with ashmead weir brown and blake it's been another statement from jamaican sprinting It'll mean so much that they have erased the names of four great Americans. Americans of, what, two or three generations ago in sprinting terms. But that is a world record, and it's a meaningful world record as well, albeit in a rarely run event, because that was a quality time when you think that Leroy Burrell, world record holder, you were saying earlier how you were there in Lausanne when Leroy Burrell broke the world 100 meters record. Carl Lewis. Many people say he's the greatest ever athlete at any discipline. Mike Marsh, himself an Olympic champion. Those are not shabby names. Those are names that have been up in lights for long, long periods of the sport. And here we see Johan Blake bringing the baton home. And again, don't underestimate, as we see there, the terrible mess the Americans got into. Curtis Mitchell handing on the baton there to uh, Amir Webb, and it all came apart for them. But don't underestimate just how different an experience it is to be running a sprint race on this very long, very long four Ben stagger. And no Usain Bolt. The big fella will be watching. Jermaine Brown just said, go, go. Um, by golly, didn't he go? And look at the distance. They break the world record by five one hundredths of a second. Well, five one hundredths is not much more than a blink of an eye, is it? But the margin, that won't matter to these fellas. They're getting their athletics year off with a world record. We're not yet into June. St. Kitts and Nevis, national record for them in second place. United States taking third. But they were the better part of a couple of seconds behind these guys. And the Jamaican celebrations will continue long and loud into the night. And let's be honest, John, it's what this event needed, isn't it, really? It needed world records. Because it comes here with no great history, inaugural event, of course. And uh, one or two marks which really were ripe for improvement on the books. But the athletes who you think were capable of doing it, well, they've put their best feet forward and they've done it. The Jamaican men who 
almost an annual basis in recent years have been improving world records in the sprint relays. Well, they've done it here in the 4x200.